Welcome back to the channel. It's Matt Gorilla Mounts. Today we're going to explain the Gorilla Mount for the Starlink Mini and how to set a Starlink Mini up correctly. Let's get into it. So when you receive the Gorilla Mount, it's going to be boxed up, something similar to this. Obviously, it's the Gorilla Mount. It's an injector molded glass nylon plastic that we make on the Gold Coast. We done a bit of design work around 3D and carbon fiber in the early stages, but was not economical to mass produce the mount. We wanted to bring something to market that we could do a large number of, change the color of, suit the end user, I guess you could say, or the, or the consumer. We wanted to also do an anti-theft whilst keeping it sleek, low profile. Once the unit is actually bolted down and the panel sits in, you can't access the mounting bolts. They physically can't access and take a unit. It's two part and it has a molded edge for the backing bar to grip into. So when you slide it in, it actually has a channel to recess into. You want to see any more videos around mounting the unit, check out our other videos on the channel. We do the ARB base rack and the Rhino rack, and we do also have a magnetic solution. So check them out on the channel, guys. We sell the Starlink mini units, so you can get the complete kit from us. Your power leads, your power connectors, Starlink itself, Gorilla mount, like you can get it all. It's a one-stop shop that we offer. We ship it straight out the next day and it's just as easy as that. It's enough chit chat, let's get into it. All right guys, so this is a generic Starlink Mini. When you open it up, this is what you're gonna get. Let's remove this. So that's your 240 adapter. So that obviously comes with the unit. You can use the Starlink Mini to a 240 wall socket as well. If you go home, you wanna use the Mini at your house. That's a common question we also get. So yes, you can use the 240. So once you take your Starlink Mini out, it does come with the kickstand. It's easily removable by just pulling up. If you hold the unit, you just pull up the kickstand and pull towards you, it releases. A lot of misconception about aligning these things as well. Uh, we recommend doing the initial alignment when you do power the unit up um, and activate your account. However, like a lot of questions around, do they work mounted flat? Our mount is to mount it flat. You don't need to tilt it once it does go on the roof rack or magnetic mount. They do still reach 160, anywhere up to 300 megabytes per second. So yeah, move, moving forward anyways, um, this is the unit. It's gonna have a cover sheet on it. And that's just a bit of a protective sheet. The next thing is comes with a 15 meter Starlink cable. It is quite an abundance of cable, which is why we do offer a braided one, three or five meter lead. You know, it's 18 gauge cable, put the, the nylon braid on to protect it obviously and aesthetics as well. This cable is on our website. It, it still retains into the factory 240 plug as well. So if you do want a shorter lead at home, you can couple it with that as well. Moving forward, it does come with a pole base. Our common question is um, like, what are we mounted on? If, it, if it's the caravan, if it's the car, and, and we always say, you know, the vehicle. That way, if you separate from your trailer, like your caravan, you, you're gonna have service with you. You go for a day trip, you get bogged. You're in an emergency situation, something happens, bitten by a snake, you've got that emergency port of call with you at all times. That's that's about it for the for the mini. So yeah, let's let's get cracking with the install. All right guys, just for the installation purpose of things, uh, we're gonna use our five meter lead and we're gonna use a 50 amp Anderson plug adapter. Our adapters are a 12 volt in, um, steps it up to 48 volts on the Anderson plug uh, power adapter. So yeah, let's get into it. The, the minis um, have an RJ45 network port there as well. So if you do wanna run that to some sort of router, for instance, like a mining crib hut or inside your office or whatever, you can run from here to an external router that blanking back in so just yeah the mini obviously explaining it down is just a voltage input into the unit and that's all it needs to run there's a lot of um, misconception around power supplies look guys the, the 240 plug that comes with the unit steps the voltage down to 30 volts which is why we essentially are putting 12 volts in and stepping the voltage up doing this process we haven't had one return we haven't had any issues well, we've done like six months plus worth of testing now and it has just proven to do the right thing. I know there's probably products out there that do work with shorter leads, but there's also a lot that don't. Like every single day online, I see there's people having issues with power supplies and making phone calls with the units dropping out, etc. 
Um, that's why we, we just stick to the basics and we just go the 12 to 30 or 12 to 48 step up. Like it's just anything over 30 volts is, is the way it needs to run. So that's why we do what we do. So essentially, yeah, it's a 50 amp Anderson plug. The other end of the DC lead plugs straight into that. There's an inline fuse holder in our step up adapter. We also do these in a cigarette as well. So depending on what your vehicle has or your caravan has, it's gonna suit either or. So plug the supply in. Now we got the uh, power supply plugged in to the unit. First thing you wanna see on the back side of the Mini is a little blue light here. All right guys, what we wanna do here is go into the app store. You wanna look for this one here, so Starlink. If you've gone into the app for the first time, this is what's gonna come up. And then what we wanna do here is go start setup. You can use this for your, for your bigger Gen 4s, for your household setup and that as well. Just follow the same process. So go into your Mini, and then confirm it. And then obviously we wanna go have a clear view. Clear view, I've taken the unit out onto the grass with the kickstand on it. You wanna go, I have a location. You wanna go Starlink's plugged in. I'm gonna go open settings, I'm gonna go Wi-Fi, capitals, Starlink, click this one. Obviously I'm showing you from an iPhone, go back into the app. Starlink successfully paired, continue. All right guys, so you'll normally see here, it's gonna be doing a software update. That's generally because potentially the units have been boxed up from anywhere from six to 12 months. We don't have to wait for it to do the software update. So what we'll do is we're gonna do the activation. So what we're gonna do here is go activate Starlink. It's gonna take you through to the Starlink website. Now, this is where a lot of people go wrong. So if you've got a new account, so if you're new to Starlink, and you don't have an account, go a new account. If you've already got an account like we do here, and also too, if you've got a, you know, your early generations through to your gen four and you've already got an existing account, you wanna click existing account in our case, Ours is already pre-saved. Verification code will be sent to email. Righto, so emails. All right guys, so what we've done is we've gone into my emails, seen the verification code, copied that verification code, and I've obviously pasted that into this section here. I'm gonna verify. All right guys, so just, this is what I'm saying about when it glitches and stuff a little bit and people get confused. So again, we just wanna click existing account. All right, guys, so right here, um, you're gonna get the option of Rome residential. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of travel, we just recommend the Rome. So it's $80 a month for 50 gig, it's the two plans. Or you can do the, this is Australian, by the way, guys in America and uh, that are watching this YouTube, this is uh, not for you guys, but in Australia, we've got the $80 a month, which is yeah, 50 gig or you've got your Rome, which is your 195, as you can see here on the screen. And that's an unlimited data package. The 50 gig gets chewed up fast, I'll, I will be honest. So if you can afford the 195 a month, we recommend you do that. If you don't and you go the 50 gig, it'll alert you when you're coming up to your data usage for the month, and then it'll just charge you, I think it's a roughly like $1.50 per, per gig. What we're gonna do here is go the Rome Unlimited. Radio. So did you purchase Starlink outside your country from an unauthorized reseller? If you're activating your Starlink kit outside a region and it's purchased outside region, fee will apply to your order three days after sign up. If your purchase from an unauthorized reseller is possible that the Starlink kit was purchased from outside your region, to avoid this charge, please ensure you're purchasing a kit from authorized channels such as Starlink.com authorized retailer. If you're in your region, to see the applicable outside region fees and the associated regions right here more. Righto guys, that's all good. We are authorised, we are a reseller with Harvey Norman in Australia. So if you do have any faulty components, etc., we can get them swapped out. So I'm gonna do my payment now. So put your card details in and it's gonna charge us 8121 for the plan. Place order. All right, order confirmed. So return to account home. You wanna click that. In your account here, you wanna to go to subscription. And then as we can see here, we've got my home star link. And then we're going to have our two 195 Rome subscriptions for the two mini units that I've also got activated. All right, guys, so from here we can close the uh, online and we can go back into the app. See that the Activate Starlink has now disappeared. And what we're going to do now is configure. So for the network name, we're going to call this unit Gorilla One and then password to whatever you desire. And then it will then come up with apply settings. So just give it 
a minute or two just to these little white uh, bars all the way around will complete a full circle when it's ready to go. Once it's applied the settings, guys, something similar to this is going to come up. You want to go join Wi-Fi network. We're now connected out to the unit that we've just been setting up. Now what we want to do is go ready to update. So we want to install it now. So what it's going to do, guys, is actually turn the Starlink mini unit off and it's going to do a reboot. So it just needs about two to three minutes and then it'll be good to go again. It'll automatically reboot, guys. So don't freak out about turning the power on or off. Just give it some time to think and it will reboot itself. So as you can see on the screen now, it'll just come up with connecting. Just give it a minute if it comes up with this offline, it's just looking for low orbit satellites. Because you've configured, guys, it should automatically reconnect. So just give it the time it needs to to reboot. All right, there it goes, guys. It's aligning itself. What we're going to do is just do this alignment. All right, perfect. As you can see, guys, that is all set up from here. If you haven't logged in to this section here, up the top right corner, little head up here on the right hand side, when you click that, the new account users, you need to click here and then enter your account details. So this isn't your Wi-Fi login details, this is your account details. Quick rundown in here, guys, you can share. Uh, if you wanna bring a friend in, give them a free month, it's your subscriptions. So if you're on the 50 gig per month and you wanna go up to the unlimited, what you wanna do here is go into uh, subscriptions, go into your unit. We wanna go into service plan. Then we want to go into change plan. If you're on the 50 gigabyte roam, which I've just selected here, so you want to click the roam unlimited to increase your data. But you can downsize too, guys. If the 195 and you're not using it all, you can switch over to the 50 and go down. All you do is slide this bar here at the bottom. That'll get you sorted out. So the next thing is standby mode. So it just gives you unlimited low speed data for emergency messaging and easy reactivation in dead zones. You know, want to activate that, you just slide this bottom bar across again, and it's $8.50 a month just to keep it in that standby mode. So there's no turning the unit off now It'll just continue to charge you the 850 per month if you've got the unit left permanently on your car or your caravan turn it off it's 850 a month a cup of coffee guys so yeah that's it guys so go back out track all your data usage through here it'll give you the month too that you've activated it and obviously you can go back through your plan just to see how you're tracking it'll give you on the top right here we've got 0.2 gigabyte so obviously that's going to go up with usage you can obviously go the ocean mode that's going to give you international water usage so fishing boats etc guys you can click this ocean mode here so it's just yeah 319 per gigabyte so you can opt in now rather than having to go and select the big plan which i know was pretty excessive for international you can actually just do the gigabyte opt in if you want to rename your unit guys just go into here rename it we'll leave that for now billing Obviously it's gonna tell you your billing, it's got your cards here, your invoices, your payments, et cetera, et cetera. You can see your invoice, pay your balance, whatever you wanna do through your billing. All right, any of your orders, your previous kits you've ordered, guys, through here. Message in if you need assistance through the Starlink app. You've got your shop here too. You can obviously buy different units, cables, etc. And notifications, if you wanna get notified for any of that, you can turn it all on and off. Change any information, you can do it through here, guys. And head back to your main menu and that is it. You guys are online. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. All right guys, just make sure that you have the blue light um, on this bottom corner here. So you can't see it due to the sun, but this will be solid blue. So make sure that that is lit up once you've got it powered up. Um, that'll indicate that the panel's um, working. All right guys, hope this uh, video was helpful. See you on the next one. Thank you.